Today, as Uganda commemorates the International Childhood Cancer Day, cancer in children is threatening to overtake infections. As one of the highest causes of death, 7,000 children estimated to develop cancer every year. The Uganda Cancer Institute received 512 cases of childhood cancer in 2017. Did you know that most childhood cancers can be effectively treated if discovered early enough? When you hear the word cancer, the picture of the affected person or population is usually that of an adult. It leaves out children. Whereas in the adult, even if we had the best treatment, the outcome is 50-50. The outcome, in as far as children is concerned, is much better. As far as childhood cancer is concerned, there is an upward trend in the cancer rates, as indicated by the number of referrals received at the Uganda Cancer Institute. But cancer in children is unique from adults. As much as it cannot be prevented or screened, the doctors emphasize majority of the cases of cancer in children can be cured. Childhood cancer has now emerged as a global priority disease. And this is because it is very, very curable. Up to 80% of children who have cancer are curable. But this is in the developed world or the high income countries. In the low income countries where much of sub Saharan Africa falls, the cure rates are as low as 10% in some places. So it makes a lot of sense for us to try and raise the cure rate from 10% to 80% in the places where 80% of the children with cancer actually live. And that is why it is emerging as a global priority disease. So there's a lot of value in actually treating and curing children. Records at the Uganda Cancer Institute indicate that 55% of children who underwent treatment are still alive a year later, most of whom are ultimately cured. Kavanda David's ordeal is told by his mother as one of the survivors representing many out there. <laughs> Na ye, dozi bwe ya kwa, yon nari ndia wa doktor gere gere nga, tuko lako na ngamba, ti doze wete yo. Na nge nga sichikiriza kwa nari subida, e banga liari kwa ambu. Kwa kwa mara ye dagala, ni tute wakatu wako maulu banyo maru umwezi. Ni ba muke vidanga muru unji, kwa muko miyao, taina uzi. Watenga ne wakata anta wanya, tacha ina uzi. Whereas the 10% cure rate in Uganda is much less than that in developed countries, it is notably the highest in sub-Saharan Africa. But this can be raised if only stakeholders, especially from the Ministry of Health and Government, could improve on awareness programs and availability of medicines. For example, the breakdown of the only radiotherapy machine at the Uganda Cancer Institute significantly slowed down treatments, thus negatively affecting business at the institute and deterring the healing process, especially in children. In December last year, the radiotherapy cancer machine was reinstated at the Uganda Cancer Institute. But many new patients were misinformed that they would not receive any treatment without the machine. As the PRO of the institute highlights, the breakdown of this machine, so many people got misinformed. Uh, the, the machine is down, so there is no cancer treatment. But as I, as I said, it does not work like a magic bullet. It doesn't work alone. It works alongside other treatments. So we see that very many, maybe, maybe many people did not come to seek treatment. Those were in villages. Who had started with us before, with our patients knew what was happening. Now, ever since they got to know the machine is in the country, very many people are coming in reporting with late stage disease, which would have been got captured long time ago, but because they thought there are no treatments because the machine was dead, so they didn't report.
By end of 2017, the Uganda Cancer Institute had registered a total of 512 new children with cancer. This resulted in two problems, such as space and human resource. Cancer treatment is challenging, just as the disease itself is a challenge to patients and also the caretakers. We see that very many people report late. The cancer gets someone in four stages. There is stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. So most of our patients come between stage three and stage four. That means they're only getting palliative treatment. They're not being treated to, to cure. So we see that most people present late. That is also a challenge to the treatment mm. that they receive. And then the other challenge is um, the drugs. The medicines are not, are, not all, like, are not always accessible. And then still, they are very, very expensive for those that, okay, we find that the treatments, cancer treatments world over are expensive. So you find that if we do not have these medicines ready available to be given out and patients have to get into their pockets, it really gets expensive. Knowing that cancer in children is highly curable is good news. And as Uganda continues to fight cancer in children and the rest of the adults, they still need to invest in resources in awareness, prevention and treatment. Let us all, as concerned citizens who could be victims of this epidemic at any time in our lifetime, stand up and save the children. Our future, Uganda.